Up here, they're going to be the manila clams and the native little necks. Wow, okay. So probably mostly be manilas. Okay. Um, you may have found a few with the native little necks. Those look exactly the same to me. Yeah. So... <laughs> The three species of clams you'll most likely find in the easy to dig parts of the intertidal zone of rocky beaches in Washington are butter clams, native little neck clams, also known as Pacific little neck, and manila clams. Here's a hole. So we're pretty far down in the intertidal zone, pretty close to the low tide mark. Not as far down as the oysters, a little bit up from that, but uh, we're going to look for butter clams down here in this lower section of the beach. Well, here we go. <laughs> it's pretty muddy. <laughs> Let's rinse them off. There we go. Nice butter clam. So they're pretty deep down. This one was probably maybe six to eight inches down in the sand. The biggest clam right here is the butter clam. It has concentric rings going around the shell in one direction. And butter clams can live more than 20 years. Oh, I feel something, but it might. There we go. <laughs> Another butter clam. So we're about midway in the intertidal zone between the low tide and high tide mark. And we were finding the butter clams down in the lower intertidal area, closer to where the oysters are. You can probably see my, my bucket down there. That's where we are looking for the butter clams. And sometimes you find the native little necks mixed in with the butter clams. But today on this beach, I'm finding them a little bit closer to the mid uh, intertidal zone where it starts to be not just so sandy it's got a little bit more gravel mixed in with the sand and then we'll move a little bit further up into the mid to upper intertidal where it's definitely more gravelly to get our manila clams Woo! got a crab oh it's one of those hairy ones oh he's just oh they're so weird God, these guys are so weird. Let's rinse him off and I'm gonna show you. These crabs are such creepers. Stop. Look at this weird little guy. He's got hairy legs. Okay, back to digging for the native little neck clams. Ooh, there we go. That's a nice native little neck. There we go. Here's a couple of, actually, one. We've got a native little neck and a manila. Um, you don't usually see them overlapping much on the beach, but they do in some areas. This one right here it, on the sand is a native little neck, and it's more round. And this one's a manila clam, and it's a little more oblong. We've got our native little neck clam and our manila clam. 
these two will have the concentric rings as well as radiating ridge lines going up and down. And these two clams can live up to 10 to 14 years. Sometimes it can be difficult to tell the difference between the two smaller clams in the field because they have very similar shape and sometimes they'll have similar coloring. Like they might be both pretty uh, light creamy colored. From a legal harvest standpoint, in Washington at least, it's not a huge deal if you can't tell them apart because your 40 clam daily limit is a mix and match bag that includes all three of these species. So functionally, it's not essential to be 100% on your field ID, but if you're curious or you really only like to eat one of these three species, it would probably be helpful to know some tips and tricks to identify them. The manila clams are often more colorful than the native little necks. They've got these really cool patterns and they're a little more oblong than the native little necks as well. The native little neck clams are usually a light creamy color and they're more round shaped than oblong shaped. A second really easy way to tell the difference between these two clams, if you flip them over, we'll set this guy aside. On the back of the hinge, there will be a divot on the manila clam. And then on the native little neck clam, there will be a ridge. You can kind of see this if you hold them out like this, but it's way more noticeable if you just run your finger along that back side of the hinge. Now we're a little further up uh, in the upper intertidal area and it's a little bit rockier and we're going to be getting more manila clams up here. <laughs> Several right there. With the manilas you really get a lot in each rake if you're in a good spot. Let's see if we can rinse these off a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now that I've got all three types of clams, the butter clams, the native little neck clams, and the manila clams, I'm going to steam them all up and then do a little test to see which one is the tastiest. So all of my clams have opened up and you can see the manila clams on the right there have that really beautiful purple color on the inside of the shells. Whereas the native little necks on the left are pretty solid white on the inside of the shell. And same with the butter clam, it's mostly a solid white cream color with a little bit of a dark uh, strand of, of coloring towards the siphon where sand has gotten trapped. Okay, so I think I'm going to try uh, some of the butter clam first. Just like a piece of the uh, outer part there. You don't want to eat the guts of the butter clams. The manila clams and the native little neck clams, you can eat the whole thing, but I wouldn't eat the whole thing of the butter clams. Pretty chewy, but not like terrible. It's got that classic clam flavor. All right, let's try the native little neck. Mm. That's good. Mm, salty, briny. Not too strong though. That was really nice. I like that better than the butter clam. And now the manila clam. Hmm. Pretty good too. I actually think the flavor on the manila clam is a little stronger. The native little neck flavor is a little more delicate. Hmm. They're all pretty good. But I think the native little neck it was my favorite, which surprised me. I mostly eat manilas and I always thought that those were my favorite, but hmm. That kind of surprised me that the native little neck ended up being my favorite, but I guess I've never really eaten all three of them together like this to really compare them. Uh, 
So, I don't know, let me know in the comments uh, if you've tried all three of these and what your favorite is.